Hi everyone, so good to see all of your smiling faces again. Welcome back. Today we're gonna discuss gears and I will show you what's in my studio bag 20. 21. And I hope that you're ready, let's talk some gears. The things that I have in my studio bag, this is basically gears that I bring each time when I'm not working in this environment, in the studio. So this is basically the stuff that I'm bringing all the time when I'm not working in this environment. Okay, so first things first, basically I don't have just one bag, I actually have two bags. This is my main bag and this is my bag for my keyboard. And these couple of bags, they come from Slick Bag. It's a Swedish company. Here you can see the Swedish flag. So basically I have two bags. This is my main bag for computers, interfaces, headphones, etc. And this is my bag for keyboard. I've used these bags for so many years. They're really good. They're looking kind of good as well. So make sure to check out Slick Bag good company from Sweden and then of course I have my most important piece of gear it's my MacBook Pro 15 inches 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7 this is really a powerful machine this is really a powerful computer I've used this computer so much it works every time I can really trust this machine amazing piece of gear and I go for Pro Tools and Logic, but mostly I work in Pro Tools. So this is the two DOS that I'm working with, Pro Tools and Logic. So this is also one of my most important piece of gears, and that is the Universal Audio Apollo Twin Mark II. I really love the Universal Audio preamps, all the kind of functions for the hardware. You have the talkback microphone, two inputs, four outputs, one guitar input. And you have a couple of plugins that comes with this interface as well. Sometimes I can feel that I'm missing one or two headphone jacks for recording vocals, but you can easily solve this with this kind of piece of gear. Here they are, the Sennheisers. I've used them for, I think, 10 years. And you know, it's interesting with both speakers and in this case, headphones. After a couple of years, you know, they're becoming like friends. You know them, you have experienced a lot of things together. I know them from the inside out and I can really trust these headphones in situations when to adjust levels, panorations, reverbs, delays, you know, small kind of tweaks and small kind of changes in the mix. In those situations, I can really trust these headphones you know, it's really important to save your projects and have kind of good organization for all of your files. Something that you will learn throughout the journey and something that you maybe will learn the hard way is where to save your projects, where to save your songs, all of your samples, how to organize. So this is my Samsung T5 SSD hard drive with 500 gigabytes and I use this for saving all of my samples and sounds and here we have the rugged you know this characteristic orange hard drive this is really a living legend this is four terabytes and this is for all my projects and files that I'm not working with right now so files and projects that I've been working with and probably I will not go back to those but sometimes I have to and then I save all of my projects and my old projects on this hard drive so remember to save your projects otherwise you will have problems and you will learn the hard way and here we have a couple of adapters for my computer for license keys for my interface and you know you can't get enough of this kind of adapters nowadays so bring all your adapters okay so what's more in my studio bag it's the Aston Spirit and cables for connecting this to my interface and I bring this microphone with me almost all the time so microphone and cable and here's one of my best friends, this is the M-Audio Code 49 Black. This is really a really good keyboard, I can really recommend this. And as you can see, it's really beautiful as well. I'm using this for synths, I'm using this for P3 
piano, I'm using this for playing drums, I'm using this for mixing, writing songs, and I can use this in so many situations. So this is a really good piece of gear. And here's one of my most important tools in my studio bag. It's actually the iPhone. Here you can see the piano. I can use this for metronome. I can use this for tuning guitars. I can use this for recording demos. I can use this for voice memories. This was my studio bag 2021. See you in the next video. Bye.